It's kind of interesting as Brandon and I meet people that are from warm climates and they say, how can you guys farm in the north? It gets so cold up there, but actually there are a lot of real positives with things getting cold. For example, when it gets cold and it freezes, we no longer have bugs, Brian. There's no more mosquitoes out here <laughs> well, for about half a year. Yeah, but as you say that, there are some bugs that can survive. They go down deep. They basically are hibernating down there, or in some cases, there are eggs laid. And so, yeah, the adults don't live anymore, but the eggs survive that frost. But yes, we can kill insects. We can kill diseases. In some cases, we might even kill a few weeds out there. That's a really good thing. Well, you mentioned the diseases, and this year there was a lot of southern rust that blew up into the northern United States, that freeze is going to kill a lot of that southern rust. So it isn't thought to overwinter in the north, which is a good thing because it was a big problem this year. May or may not be a problem next year. Who knows? Yep. So we are optimists here and we like to look at the bright side of things and say, well, frost is great and that really helps out. But the downside of it is it really does slow us down in the spring. Very often we are sitting there waiting for the frost to come out of the ground. So our ground is dry enough to go out there and also obviously warm enough for our crops to grow.